Good morning. It is 6 a.m. in uh, Bali. Not a super nice sunrise this morning, but we're up. Let's start the week. So to like be more on top of like what's what's happening and what other people are doing, and especially for you, I think it's also important to kind of like see what people are doing and kind of start understanding the platform a little bit more. So I want to go about. Hey, I think we're gonna do room tour right now because I realized I never showed you guys our new place we found in Bali. So maybe we can start with our garage. I'm a big cars guy, so um, yeah, we don't have any cars. In Bali, you drive around with a scooter, so this is my dope scooter. Actually, I can do like a quick drive. Actually, the scooter, the scooter driving is the best part in Bali. You forgot your uh, helmet. Yeah, I never, no, I actually use them. You should use them. But that's super fun. So, garage, you come in here. Uh, we start out with our super big kitchen. We actually used this thing already once. We cooked. So, that's the first thing. Then you come in to the main space. We got like more kitchen space. We got our main working space. This is where we're gonna work from, or working from. Then we got like, the living room area, I guess. The couch, that's a small, small toilet. Um, this place has two bedrooms. Those, they actually, it has a third bedroom there, but it's locked. We don't know yet what's in there. We su suspect there's a little girl, Linda, right? Yeah. Called Linda, and she's living in there. You don't want to mess with Linda. And then, this is our backyard or whatever. We got a nice pool right here. I actually like this pool because it's actually like the, the pool at our place before that it was so tiny. You could like just go in there and like sit in the water. But this one you can actually swim. So I use it to wake up in the morning. I do like 10 like laps or whatever. Like some thingies there. We got like green stuff here. And we also got some fishies. Look, where are fish? There are fishies. Fishies. And, um, oh shit, look at that one. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, they can see that one. Alright, let's go back. An outdoor shower right there, which I used this morning to shower myself. The good thing here actually, and that's what you gotta look out for, we got AC um, in, the, in the living area. Um, which is important in Bali. Our previous house didn't have AC in the main room and that just means you're s like sitting in your sweat. Um, and it has another um, air like fan or whatever. So this is one bedroom. This is Ricky's room right now with the ukulele. Beautiful. And it has its own private bathroom. And then this is the second room. I hope we're not um, like Disturbing Jay or something or anything. Jay, you were supposed to pretend you're masturbating. Come on. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, Wait, let's I... do it again. I hope we're not catching Jay at doing anything. <laughs> That's not how someone looks if they just masturbated. <laughs> Jay, you have to pretend you're masturbating. Walk in and I'm just gonna do the job, okay? <laughs> oh, oh! I forgot we're doing a tour. I was just like having some fun there. Um, so yeah, you have a like big, big bathroom, and then we got our bathroom. So both both bathrooms have a bath bathroom like this. This is a toilet, bathtub, 
nice shower. I like this actually. This is a nice spacious um, bedroom. So yeah, we, we got this place through Airbnb and we're paying um, 1500 euros or 1700 dollars per month for this. Um, we downscaled it a little bit. Obviously, like ideal would be three bedrooms because we're three people, even though I like kind of cuddling with Jay. Um, but like the AC was super important for us and internet. We switched from the other place because we want a better internet. Turns out this place also doesn't have great internet. I tested it actually before coming here, uh, but apparently I fucked up. So we might get a new place or we upgrade the internet speed. We're kind of talking with the owner right now. Um, but yeah, like AC and internet is are like the two most important things for us because obviously we're gonna work from here and these two things are important for us. And um, any any other details that are interesting or important? Um, the location, we are yeah. in North Kuta, um, which is like, it's, it's close to Changu, like 15 or 20 minutes from Changu, which is like the biggest like the place where all of the digital nomads hang out. Obviously, that's more expensive if you go there. Um, oh. I like this. Oh, we got a kitty! <laughs> yeah, we got a kitty now. Oh, that's so interesting. As you can see, we also have a kitty now. <laughs> uh, on your stuff. Low key, that really scared me. I didn't oh. know what it was <laughs> for like a second. That's a spider. <laughs> Sometimes the spiders are this big. Here. Um, oh, look, fuck you. She's leaving. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we covered everything. That's our place for approximately the next month, and then we're gonna see if we get. Are you filming the cat still? <laughs> no, <laughs> I was thinking. My about eyes it. are up here, Ricky. <laughs> um, and yeah, so this is our place. Don't know how long we're gonna stay here. The internet plays a big factor, and. My girlfriend is actually coming back in like two weeks and we're gonna move together and so that means we're gonna have to figure out a new place um, or if they open up the third bedroom and kind of kick Linda out but we're gonna see yeah that's it thanks for watching my crib our crib the room tour house tour dad I did not record any of it <laughs> uh, I recorded like three minutes of our food and I did not record it this is now the second time this happened in like within a week. How long have you been there vlogging? Um, yeah, don't ask me. Yeah. But we got food. I got some steak What's with that? some potatoes. Look at that. What's wow. that? Wait, it's fishies. It's oh, wow, fish. fishies. Um, and I got three servings of vegetables. So we're gonna eat now. It is 1:30 p.m. and this is our breakfast. Jay already got hangry. A little bit, but it's fine actually. What's up? So we are right now, well, we're working, but it's now um, 9 p.m. And um, we just decided that we kind of want to do two things to like increase productivity, which is number one, like have kind of like a daily review where we talk at the end of the day, you know, the things that we wanted to get done, um, the things that we got done, the things that we didn't get done, and why we didn't get those things done. Um, and I think it's gonna increase productivity for two reasons. Number one, you're kind of more accountable because if you, you know, it doesn't feel good at the end of the day to say like, yo, I wanted to do these five things and I only got one thing done or I only got two things done. And especially if you don't really have a reason and you realize that you just kind of, I don't know, slacked off or, you know, got distracted or whatever. So it's like accountability. Um, obviously it can't slip into like, you know, judgment and it's like, well, why the fuck did you not get all your things done, Reiki? Um, but yeah, accountability and then the other thing is like, kind of, um, even becoming more aware of like, oh wait, I wanted to do these things and they didn't work out, maybe I just thought they took shorter than they actually took. Um, and then the other thing that we just realized, it's like, if you're working together on like a tiny space like this with like no in between and Jay is usually sitting there he's now in the room it's like if you're getting distracted that distraction like 
goes on to everyone else because you know if I'm working and I get distracted and I go on Instagram and you know just scroll through the feed like that's fine like that's just me getting distracted but then you're like you find a funny video and you just want to show that funny video to everyone right and so now suddenly like your distraction becomes everyone else's distraction and you know you come up with a random idea and you're like hey guys what about this random idea and now you know your distraction again becomes everyone else's distraction and then it just amplifies because now like now not everyone gets like distracted on their own they also get everyone else's distraction and so um kind of like we talked about being more aware of you know when that happens and just holding back of like you don't need to share every sick single fucking funny video that you find you don't need to share every random thought or idea you just have you don't have to share every headline you just read um kind of to to you know to not have everyone go down the rabbit hole right jay agency life is a constantly being interrupted and not getting work done yeah i agree with that 100%. so I also that so we got to be more aware of that what and that's the kind of thing that I wanted to add. Ooh, money. 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 Oh. Monopoly money. Dude, um, look at how many times the Gojek person has messaged me. So Holy cow. That dude really likes you. Damn. What did he say? How do you want to wait? Over and over how do you want to wait? How do you want to wait? I said, how do you want to wait? How do you want to wait? That's fine. <laughs> no, how do you okay. want to How do you want to wait? Do you sit okay. down or like... <laughs> You know, yeah. Um, but yeah, food is coming. You we're gonna. Like that was a distraction. <laughs> we're gonna end the vlog now. Stop with your distraction and see you tomorrow. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate, love. But why now? Holy shit! I just wanna make a trip to the child.